you what's up you guys it's Caboose XBL bringing you another amazing Spider-Man 2 video and what you are seeing right now is the official gameplay walkthrough that Beanox has revealed to the public as you can see they're showing some actual gameplay in this video so there's a lot of stuff that they're showing and I wanted to do a little breakdown for you guys talk about what we're seeing a lot of the stuff that they've shown and um, there's a very special part in this video that I want to take a lot of time to go over so with that said let's get right into the breakdown as you can see they start off with um, just some gameplay just normal gameplay of Spidey swinging through the city as they talk about some of the gameplay mechanics such as um, how the web slinging works and for those of you who don't know it's actually very immersive now in where if you hit the right trigger you will attach your web to a building to your right side and if you hit the left trigger you will attach your web to a building on the left side and there's also some stuff like new different types of web slinging, like the slingshot web sling, which uh, you saw in a previous interview where they showed some gameplay. I can't really show it on this video. But basically, he attaches two webs to two different walls of a building, and he slingshots himself forward, and it's really cool. I suggest you guys look for some gameplay about that and watch it because it's really, really awesome. There's also some boosts where like you can kind of boost your web swing or how fast you go when you're hitting the ground. And things like that so I really enjoy that because of the fact that it's extremely immersive the way they've done that with the web slinging and yeah that's really awesome it makes you feel so much like spider-man than we've ever felt before with any of the previous spider-man games another look that we have here is of the map as you know uh, it is obviously much bigger than it was in the previous amazing spider-man game uh, being the amazing spider-man 1 based off the movie so that's great. I can't wait to see all the new stuff that they've added to the city and all the, you know, expanded stuff that we get to search and explore in the bigger parts of the city. That's really great, and I enjoy that a lot. Um, he's kind of talking about here how the cops, no matter what you do, if you go to focus on a crime or not, the cops will try to deal with it themselves. So if there's a crime on the map and if you don't deal with it, the cops will eventually deal with it themselves, obviously playing towards the hero or menace stage. Now here, as you can see, Peter Parker is revealed, looks nothing like Andrew Garfield, that's for sure, which is fine. They're making their own character designs, but it's just set in the Amazing Spider-Man universe. Um, one thing that's very interesting, though, is uh, for those of you who haven't realized already, uh, when you go to the train, it takes you to Aunt May's house or Peter's house, whatever you want to call it. And it's actually redesigned, almost complete 100% detail from the way it was in the films. You know, I was seeing this stuff in the game. I was like, oh my god, I remember seeing this in the movie. So that's really well done from them. And as you can see, right there, Ame is sitting there in the uh, in the living room watching TV. So, you know, maybe you get to interact with her. I don't know. But if you go back just a second, you can see that Ame is sitting in the living room. So that's cool. Uh... Once again, it adds to the feeling, you know, the, the realness, you know, so that's awesome. This is Peter's room. Again, pretty damn identical to the way they've done it in the movie, so I really, really enjoy that. And this is the very special part of the video, guys. The very special part of the video. They're going to go over 10, yes, I told you, 10 new skins that we will be seeing in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 game. So that will bring us to a grand total of 14 skins because there are four pre-order skins that were revealed being the black suit, the Spidey Noir, the um, Iron Spider-Man, and the Cosmic Spider-Man. So that's four suits on its own pre-order bonuses and then 10 suits in-game leaving one more suit to be revealed because they said there would be a total of 15 skins. And I think... I may be wrong, but I think it's going to be kind of similar to the Amazing Spider-Man 1 game, where it will be a completely new skin that Beanox has created themselves. But let's go over these skins that we have here. We have the Vigilante Spider-Man. Now, this was featured in the Amazing Spider-Man 1 movie, where um, he's just becoming Spider-Man, and this is just the costume that he makes as he's slowly becoming Spider-Man. So that's cool. I can't wait to see it return. This is the skin from the Amazing Spider-Man 1 movie, or the Spider-Man 1 game. Um pretty straightforward on its own scarlet spider is returning this is the uh the updated marvel now scarlet spider-man really love this look really love the design and the way they designed it the big eyes so cool i love it for sure this sin hold on let's go back to that let's go back to that if we can um this skin what is this 
What is this? I think this has something to do with Beetle. I don't know for sure. Please tell me in the comments below. There's actually a lot of skins that I have no idea the origin of. But I think this does have something to do with Beetle. And oh my god. Guys. Just imagine the thought of swinging through the city in that. Just so cool. Just so cool. Uh, moving on here, we have the Spider-Man 2099, another skin that I recommended in my video, my alternate costume video, which you should totally check out if you haven't already, but oh my goodness, this skin is awesome, I, I love the, the blue lights, you know, circulating through the skin, that really is cool, like if you can see here, yeah, and whoa, what was that, what was that, hold on, Scarlet, or Scarlet, what, Superior Spider-Man, Superior Spider-Man, yes, this is the one skin that in my alternate costume video I totally forgot about, and everybody and their mother commented about it in the comments section, it's here folks, oh my god, it looks so freaking cool, I love the design of the Superior Spider-Man, it's just awesome, and I'm so glad it's appearing in this game, but moving on here, what is this? I have no idea. Again, please tell me what is this if you know the origin of it in the comments below. Um, just uh, put the point in, in time of the video where you're looking at the skin and then talk about the origin of that skin if you're going to explain it. But yeah, this skin looks awesome. Um, there's the Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man skin. I love this. Again, this is another really awesome uh, designed Spider-Man costume. So I really love that this is going to be appearing in the game. Can't wait to use it in gameplay and everything. Um, this is the big time Spider-Man big time suit. Uh, now, I can't remember if it was the green neon color in the original Amazing Spider-Man game, or if it was like orange or something, but either way, this is returning. It was in the Amazing Spider-Man 1 game. This, this skin looks so awesome at nighttime, so I'm definitely going to be using this skin during like the nighttime points of the game, so that's really great. I can't wait to see what the features are, because obviously, for those of you who know, with the Amazing Spider-Man game, all the skins have specific features to them, so I can't wait to see what all those skins features are, especially the beetle one, I wonder, but, um, moving on, what is, is this, I, I have a feeling this has something to do with, like, Moon Knight or something, just from the little symbols on the jacket, and from what I can see on the chest, plus the color scheme, kind of reminds me a lot of Moon Knight, so maybe I'm right there, I don't know, but again, please tell me, what are your thoughts, what is the origin to this comic, or, to this comic, to this costume, I want to hear it in the comments below, Please tell me, please help me out, because I have no idea what the origins are to this costume. It looks like Spider-Man went to a rock concert in the 80s or something, and <laughs> this is what he wore. But um, moving on, this, I, I don't know what this is either. This just looks so cool. I love the little squinted eyes. That design is awesome. Uh, and the collared neck, that's cool. Really, really cool. Again, I don't know the origins of it, though, so tell me that in the comments. Um, and then we're back to the original. So, that's awesome. Uh, wow. Like, seriously, wow. Well freaking done, Beanox. All the skins that you've included in this game, absolutely incredible. For the most part, the rest of this video is just them going over some of the stealth and some of the stuff that you do in the game. So, I'm going to skip over this. If you really want to see the whole thing, it will be linked in the description. But for the most part, they're not explaining much new, other than a new stealth attack, which is where you hang upside down from your web, kind of in the classic Spidey pose, and that allows you to do new stealth takedowns. For the most part, there's nothing much new, so I'm just going to skip forward a bit as uh, they go through the gameplay. Another thing that they showed, actually, if I can go back a bit, is um, here. As you can see, this is the Spidey Sense. This is pretty much detective vision from the Batman Arkham games, but in Spider-Man, um, which is kind of lame that they're copying it, but at the same time, it makes sense in its own right. You know, it fits within the Spider-Man universe that that's how we would be able to see through the walls and everything. So that's not bad, but at the same time, it's blatantly ripping off the Arkham games. So, yeah, kind of cool, kind of not at the same time. Moving on, at the very end, they show this shot here, as you can see, so something went wrong and it was very odd, I don't know why, every time I put my breakdown into my editing software, it cut off right when I say, as you can see. So I don't know, I'm just going to give you my final thoughts here as we are about to close out the video. Uh, but yes, like I was saying in the end of that video there, uh, as you can see the Kingpin is in fact in the game. It was already confirmed through the back of the box art that was, it was, there was like an image of it leaked a little while ago. 
But yes, he will be one of the boss battles in the game, which is really cool. I can't wait to see the way it plays out. Uh, it seems like it's going to be a very physical battle. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see the way that plays out. And I'm actually really glad to see Kingpin return because I kind of forgot about this villain. You know, the Kingpin is pretty damn cool in the comics and from the animated series, the, the 90s animated series. So I really do love this character and uh, I can't wait to see the way they make his character be in the Amazing Spider-Man game and how this boss battle is going to be. But uh, what are your thoughts? What did you think of the gameplay walkthrough for the Amazing Spider-Man 2 game? Did you think it was cool? Did you think it looks bad? Tell me your reasons why or why not in the comments below. M my personal opinion, I thought it looks great. I love the web slinging mechanics. I love the, like, the fighting style looks great, but I don't really, I'm not a big fan of the camera, the way the camera starts shaking around when you get into fights. You know, that's kind of bothering me. But overall, it looks great. I can't wait to play this game. It comes out April 29th. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments below. I'm XBL. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.